the reality of ovarian cancer, unfortunately, is that many women will present with advanced stage disease, but with the appropriate treatment, many women can actually do now very well. We now recognize the importance of appropriately aggressive surgery, meaning getting out all the, uh, all the visible tumor when possible. And we now have new chemotherapy techniques called intraperitoneal chemotherapy, where we can actually prolong a woman's survival by giving her the chemotherapy directly into the abdomen. So that with the appropriate surgery combined with the appropriate chemotherapy, women can do quite well for a prolonged period of time. The other thing, the other um, um, characteristic of ovarian cancer is that it's quite chemoresponsive, meaning that there are a number of drugs that uh, ovarian cancer will respond to, so that even if a woman does have persistent tumor, recurrent tumor, there are many drugs that we can offer her. And as we develop new targeted therapies, hopefully those will have fewer side effects in the future. So the reality is there are treatments available women can do well for a prolonged period of time, and some women will actually be cured. And that rate of cure is actually dependent on what kind of surgery the patient can undergo, or the, what kind of surgery the woman can undergo, and the type of tumor, how aggressive it is, and, um, and her responsiveness to chemotherapy, along with the stage of tumor. The cornerstone of treatment for ovarian cancer is surgery combined with chemotherapy, and not all tumors actually need chemotherapy. Well-staged, stage one cancers actually do not require treatment with chemotherapy for some tumor subtypes. The vast majority of women, however, will need surgery combined with chemotherapy, and generally for a woman who's medically fit and unable to undergo surgery, she will actually be recommended to have a surgical procedure first. That surgery typically consists of a hysterectomy with removal of both tubes and ovaries for women who are finished with their fertility and don't desire any future childbearing. With that also is surgical debulking, where we try to remove all the visible tumor that's present in the abdomen at the time of surgery. For some women, they will desire to uh, preserve fertility and may um, have one ovary left in place and the uterus left in place. Some women will have early stage disease where that's feasible, and there's some women who will have early stage disease and will just require a staging procedure where we remove lymph nodes in the pelvis and up around the aorta and the periodic region, along with taking a fat pad that hangs off the transverse colon called the omentum. And that's quite important for women who have early stage tumors because if a woman is, uh, has a presumably early stage tumor and she's well staged, she actually might not require chemotherapy in the future.